presidential hopeful Mitt Romney arrived in the British capital looking to build credibility. He met with Britain's prime minister and other leaders he hopes to work with if he wins the race in November. Romney said he understands the special bond between the U.S. and its biggest ally. Our commitment to common values, uh, our commitment to uh, peace in the world, and our desire to see a stronger and growing economy. The Republican White House hopeful also sat down with former Prime Minister Tony Blair, who is now a special envoy to the Middle East. But it wasn't all business. Romney told Blair he's looking forward to seeing his wife's horse, Rafalka, compete in the Olympic sport of dressage. Romney and his wife brought three of their sons to London to enjoy the opening ceremonies on Friday. President Obama won't make the trip, but the First Lady and their daughters will. I think that's amazing. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for her to do that. It's a very pivotal year, I think, for us in the U.S. Four years ago, then-Senator Obama visited eight countries before winning the White House. During this campaign, he's telling voters his leadership has helped repair the U.S. image. Because we're leading around the world, People have a new attitude toward America. Good afternoon. Romney is spending part of his time in London raising campaign money. One fundraiser is creating controversy because bankers connected to the Barclays interest rate scandal are among the guests. Monica Villamizar, CBS News, London.